Hey everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. In this design, we're gonna be working on this peekaboo bunny happy Easter bouquet. For this design, you'll need one of the bunnies from Dollar Tree. I picked some fern for my greenery. You'll need a foam block, some moss or some straw, and the little wood box I actually found at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna go ahead and take my wood box and just paint one layer of the white chalk paint. Now while this is drying, we're gonna go ahead and take apart the little bunny sign we're gonna go ahead and remove the tag and the little burlap bow and our little uh, carrots from the bottom because we're gonna be using those on the front of our box. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and lightly sand the top of the bunny just to rough up some of the edges and take away some of the lines. Now we are gonna go ahead and take some of our white chalk paint and just kind of lightly go over it just to give it more of that aged look. Now we're gonna go ahead and just take some sandpaper and just lightly go over a few of the places to outline the face. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a black magic marker and just very lightly go around the edges and this is just to detail so it will kind of stand out a little bit better throughout the greenery. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue our bunny to the large popsicle stick and I'm going to go ahead and paint the stick with a little bit of the white chalk paint. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the bow back to the bunny. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some sanding on our box. You wanna just take and do very straight motions as you're sanding and this will help give the box the look of old aged wood. Now we're gonna go ahead and glue our foam board down to our box. Now I just went ahead and made just some little rope knots to pull through the holes at the top of the bunny's ear. Now we're gonna go ahead and glue the bunny to the back of the box. Now we're gonna take our carrots and we're just gonna sand those lightly. And I think in this design, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them orange, but I am gonna use some of the oatmeal chalk paint to go over the letters, Happy Easter. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our carrots and just glue them to the front of the box. Now we're gonna go ahead and use some of the fern that I purchased at Dollar Tree.
And I wanted to do this view for you from the top so you could kind of see how I was placing the fern in the box to start forming our bouquet. Now I'm just going to take and pull some of these off of the stem so they'll be a little shorter. Now I'm going to go ahead and just glue one of the fern bunches right to the back of that popsicle stick. And that's just so we have a little bit of the greenery coming up in behind the bunny's head. Now I decided just to go ahead and use some of this like golden tint straw. But you could use moss or even some of the colored uh, raffia or just the Easter egg grass in this design. go ahead and use some of these little white flowers. I actually purchased these at Michael's. And all you want to do is just randomly fill in the gaps and kind of get an even balance in your bouquet arrangement. Now I am going to go ahead and add just a little bit more of these sprigs of greenery. These I also purchased at Michael's and I love the lighter tone of the green with the white and the dark fern color. And there you go, a charming farmhouse style peekaboo bunny Easter bouquet. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching. See you next time.